Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going through every barrel for every Cold War weapon and giving you a heads up of how much they're actually helping out the bullet velocity. This is for assault rifles, SMGs, LMGs, sniper rifles, and tactical rifles. You don't really need to worry about bullet velocity on shotguns, so that's not something I tested. But when it comes to assault rifles, SMGs, LMGs, tactical rifles, and sniper rifles, there are some huge differences in bullet velocity from going from one attachment to the next, and they're not universally the same, meaning that if you use the cavalry on the stoner, it's going to work the same as it does on SMGs. doesn't work that way, so we're going to break down some of the differences, but I'm going to show you one of the extreme differences that I was able to find between the assault rifles and SMGs. In this particular case, we're going to be looking at the XM4 with any of these bottom barrels. We'll just go ahead and put the take down so you guys have an example. We'll show that in game, kind of show you what it's all about. Enjoy the video, learn something new. Please do me a favor, hit that like button if you're brand new, want to find your way back. Double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. All right, so for my testing, like you saw in the previous video, what I do is I kind of line up my shot and I shoot at this specific target all the way over here at 497 meters. Somebody commented said, hey, I'm never gonna get an engagement at 497 meters. That's not really the point. What happens is with bullet velocity, um, this impacts every engagement, even something as little as 50 meters, 100 meters, it's gonna impact those gunfights because it determines how much you have to lead the shot, um, also how much bullet drop there is, so if you have to aim above them, because look at the difference here. The bullet goes kinda like, eww. It drops kind of down, boom. But if we go over here to the AK-74U, look at there's literally no bullet drop and look at how much the bullet travel time is. So just looking at these compare, this is a rifle by the way, this is the XM4. We go to aim there, look at how much it drops. It pretty much drops from here all the way down to here. If we go with this one here, I could probably shoot this guy. Look at that, but this is with an SMG. This is an SMG by the way. I was able to hit that guy out the air. So. That's what bullet velocity does. One thing to keep in mind with these attachments is that as you go through them, this could be the replacement to the MP7 and sniper rifle combination if you're just tired of using the MAC-10. Is it better than MAC-10? No, um, because the MAC-10 specializes in close quarters SMG usage. This has an incredible bullet velocity that is very competitive with a lot of the modern warfare rifles, especially when you stack on the muzzle, which is gonna give you that suppressor. Another thing to keep in mind is this is strictly for bullet velocity, what I'm talking about. So if some of these cases that we're going to look at, they have very close bullet velocity, meaning that like one could be 98% better and the other one's like 110% better. Doesn't mean automatically go with the 110% because there are instances where this one might actually have a little bit more range, um, extending that bullet range. So it takes a little bit less shots to kill a little bit further out. Um, so if they're really close and you're trying to experiment and you just kind of want to see what's different, I would highly recommend playing with both of them, kind of get a good feel. Okay, this one felt like, like it had a little bit more range because that one's still something we got to test. But as of now, I went through bullet velocity for every single primary weapon with the exception of the shotgun. So let's go ahead and look at the spreadsheet, kind of talk about some other outliers that I was able to find after doing this type of testing. So here's the spreadsheet. I have it linked down in the description. I'm gonna kind of read through some of the different examples. What we're looking at here is we get the XM4 with reduced bullet velocity. So it ends up not being all that good. Um, and this is SMG level bullet velocity after you equip some attachments. We saw this in earlier uh, earlier video today. The AK-47 has a similar issue and these will hopefully get fixed. At the end of the day, they say they improve it. They're doing the opposite because if it was improving by about 21%, then you'd have at least a viable gun. It wouldn't be good because of the recoil, but at least it would be viable. Same thing with the stoner. I went through and tested all the LMGs. Pretty much they copy and pasted identical stats all the way across the board for base bullet velocity and the differences at that various range. You can see it cuts the travel time in half from shooting from where I was all the way at 497 meters away. So if you want to test these things yourself, see what the difference is, you're more than welcome to. you kind of seen how I did it there. Um, and then normally what I do is once I record it, I go back frame by frame. I give an idea of how many milliseconds passed between me firing and the bullet actually hitting the individual target 497 meters away. So when it comes to tactical rifles, you can see that there, there are faster bullet velocities, um, but nothing's matching the titanium across the board. With the exception of the AUG, you do get the strike team one, but you'd be losing out on that faster fire rate. So there are trade-offs. You're more than welcome to experiment with different ones. Now that you guys got a little bit more information, you can at least get a rolling start before these 
values change inevitably once they decide to fix their game. When it comes to SMGs, all of them pretty much have a bullet velocity of 350, with the exception of the Bullfrog and the AK-74U, which we saw shown off right here. The 608 is actually faster than all the other Cold War uh, rifles. It's also faster than all the tactical rifles. It's also faster than all of the LMGs. So in terms of bullet velocity, the only thing that beats out the AK-74U's base bullet velocity is the Tundra. Uh, even the M82 and the Pellington are slower in terms of bullet velocity. Um, on top of that, we got the, the Bullfrog. Like I said, it's a 513. Um, and what we're seeing is all the stats... If the bullet velocity was 350, it looks like they're just copying over all the stats for most of the SMGs from Cold War with the, with those two exceptions. Because you can see all the different extended, the cavalry, the reinforced heavy, the ranger, the rifle, the task force, they're all improving of, of the same amount. Um, and when it comes to the task force, it incre increases the range by 50%. So I would imagine if they're just copying and pasted, they probably copied that for the KSP, the Milano, and the MP5 which makes sense. And the crazy part is if you stack the AK-74U's bullet velocity with the agency suppressor, you're gonna get it over 1200, which is a nutty number when it comes to bullet velocity, especially for an SMG. Snipers, we also saw some interesting trends, but overall the best one is going to be the Tundra. This one's the one that gets close to a thousand. Besides that with the combat recon, it's gonna get over a thousand with the, with the wrapped suppressor. Other than that, there's none of these even come close, and you could even see the bullets drop pretty hard. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to the spreadsheet, so if you want to go ahead and check it out or use it as a reference, you're more than welcome to. So that is every barrel for all of the primary weapons with the exception of the shotgun. Hopefully you did enjoy the video, learned something new. If you did, please do me a favor, hit that like button if you're brand new, want to find your way back. Double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.